All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 7501. All right, so it looks like we're going to be needing a yep, J0 or PH0, whichever you got. JS or PH0. Let's go ahead and remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, you want to keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, lengths. In this case, it looks like the screws are actually, oh, maybe just that one, holds itself into place. All right, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their device as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, even if it's just to say hi, uh, because that helps the algorithm tell people to check my channel and yeah other than that let's continue getting all these screws out so it looks like the two corner screws at the back um, they stay in place and that actually helps you pop open the bottom cover so so far all these screws look to be about the same um, but again it's always a good idea to keep them in order just in case all right so we got all of those and you can see this popped up so let's see if we can kind of get underneath and pull it up more um, Okay, this corner's up. Let's see if we can go along the side. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> okay, so let's make sure this screws out all the way. And yes, it is. About this side. And that screws out all the way. Okay, so this appears to be, even though it helps you pop up the cover like this. Um, let's see, it's being a little difficult. All right, so I'm pu pushing down with my thumb and pulling up with my fingers here. And actually, that's working well. Go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay. Just like that, work your way down, continue pulling up and pushing down, okay, and yep, there we go. All right, what about the back here? So we're probably going to have to pry this somehow. Um, so I'm pushing down with my thumbnail and pulling with my other fingers, and you can see it's popping. Okay, that's good. Oh, this side is being difficult. Wow, so even with that, it's being tough. All right, it might help to pull up from the center here since we got this and then push this down so that way it curves in like that and pulls the clips inwards. Let's see if that works. Okay, and it doesn't seem to want to come out. Jeez. Okay. Hmm. Well, this side, the front is coming out. Um, sorry, this is not, there's no like exact science to this I guess it doesn't want to see it doesn't want to come out so let's see here let's try with a suction cup see if there's any difference towards the center and no it still doesn't want to come out pulling the clips inwards okay that's working it's really tough but it is working <laughs> come on jeez got most of it up as you can see this there's one clip here that doesn't want to come out for some reason let's try and pull up harder on this pushing down and since we got this up let's see if we can get my fingernails in there and kind of help push it a little there we go so I had to push that inwards okay that was a pain and then we're gonna kind of get this and wiggle all right, looks like the front is being a pain. I'm gonna grab this. Okay, and wiggle that. Nope, it doesn't wanna come out. Are we just gonna have to lift it and pop it out? I don't wanna usually do that because sometimes that can damage some clips. It looks like this computer is actually still running. Wow, this, what is going on? These clips are too strong. Okay, so let's see if I can See how these clips are even holding in here. It looks like it should push inwards, I think. <laughs> so let's try and push in and pull up. There. Nope. Um, I guess we're probably just going to lift up. There we go. Okay. And I don't know. Oh, I think one. This At least this clip, it looks, yeah. So this one clip is gone. Um, yeah, for some reason that clip was super strong, but here you can see the other clips, right? And it does look like you're supposed to push it in, but I don't know why, this that one clip wouldn't come out. Anyways, it's out now. You can see the fans are spinning. Um, 
I think they said they dropped it and it's not turning on now. You can see the caps lock light is permanently on. Um, if they're lucky, it could be loose RAM. Okay, so we're gonna turn that off. Close this and let's take a look. It looks like there's two M.2 SSD slots here. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's check this RAM. There's only one slot. Okay, it's super hot, this computer. <sighs> All right, so the RAM is an eight gig. PC4 3200 AA, you should be fine with any PC4 3200 AA RAM. So if you want to put a 16 gig stick, go for it and see, it should work. All right, let's go ahead and check. Sometimes if it's a loose or kind of RAM that's having some issues, sometimes pulling it out, putting it back in, will get it working. So let's take a look. We click that back in, open this back up and let's see. Oh, it turned itself back on and the caps lock light is still solid. So that's sadly not gonna work. Let's go ahead and try disconnecting the battery and see if they're lucky. Sometimes doing a battery reset will help. I'm gonna use my fingernails and kind of just wiggle this connector. It's This connector is really tough to remove. This is definitely going to mess up my fingernail and I'm gonna have to trim it because it's gonna make a little dent or hole in it. Um, but there we go. Okay, um, one other way, if you can't do that, you can actually take the, actually, let me get a thumbnail here real quick, um, but we're gonna take the battery out here and hope we're lucky. So you can see it's actually, the fans are starting to spin up because it's getting warm. Um, we're gonna take these screws out for the battery. Two, three. Okay, so there's one at the bottom here and then there's two on either sides, and then two at the top. Okay, let me get all these out. Oh, I'm getting another customer calling. Oh, actually there's three at the top, so we'll get all three of these out. Interesting, it's still turning on even with those, uh, with the battery connector pulled back like that. So it's not completely out. Okay, a lot of times the laptops on these newer ones they use the main battery as a CMOS BIOS battery as well okay we're gonna get this up I'm getting my finger underneath to pinch the wire I'm gonna pinch from this side as well so I can kind of use that to wiggle and pull it and there we go so here's the battery the model is um here 4k 1vm all right 4k 1vm that's the model and it looks like on this one the connector is part of the battery a lot of the Dells, they have removable connectors, but this one, it's part of it. Okay, so after removing the battery, what you want to do, we're going to open up the laptop and press and hold the power button for 15 seconds. While I'm holding that, I'm going to kind of just look at what's inside. You got this little purple and white cable going over to the side here, and I'm not too sure what that is. It might be a Hall Effect sensor. It's like right down there, right? Nothing's connected to it. Um, so it's probably like a Hall Effect sensor, the thing that tells it that the screen is closed. You got the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery right there. CR2032, but it has a cable. Take note of which way the connection is going. The black wire is going up towards the hinge and the red wire is going down towards the opening of the laptop. So if you get a new one, make sure that the wires are going the right way. Okay, you got the fan there. Okay, I'm pretty sure I held it way more than 15 seconds. We're going to close this up. And let's go ahead and take a closer look at everything else. You got this big connector here, which connects to this board, which is for the USB port, the SD card slot, and the headphone jack or 3.5 millimeter jack, all right? Um, there's a thermal pad on here, but if you wanna take the SSD out, um, most likely we remove this screw, then it comes up slightly at an angle and pull it out. Um, if that doesn't work, you might have to remove both screws because there's two screws holding this, it looks like kind of interesting. All right, uh, what else? You got the speaker here with the wire running along, plugs in here, and then the other wire runs along to the other speaker over here. Uh, wireless antenna is here with the wire running along and plugging in up here. Other wireless antenna is down here. Um, if you're gonna remove the wireless antennas, one screw, this metal plate comes up, then you can go from the tail and pull those antennas up. I do have videos on other models showing this, so if you need that, um, just look for that or ask. let me know. Okay, another, again, there's another M.2 PCIe MVME slot here, keyboard connector here, keyboard backlight connector is here, and then you have this uh, for the touchpad or trackpad. This has a little latch that you flip up 
there, the black part. This one, the white part, flips up there. And then this one, the black part, flips there. There's the LCD LVDS connector right here. This is for the screen. Um, I'm going to double check that, though. I'm pretty sure it's not a screen issue because the caps lock light stays on. Then you got the DC jack charge port connector here. All right. Um, since we held the power button already for over 15 seconds, let's go ahead and see if we can peel this up. Okay, carefully. Um, that latch comes out, and I'm going to actually... So there's a metal latch that helps hold this. We're going to pull this back, and then pull that back in, and latch that down. Okay, and then we'll just take that down. All right, and yeah, not really much else to look at in here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put the battery back and hope it's good. If it's still dead, then it's most likely a dead motherboard. Um, one other thing is I think there's integrated RAM. So we can try without the, um, without the RAM, and it might power up. So we'll see. Let's get the battery back in, pinch the connector back. In. You want to make sure the connector goes in straight, not at an angle, because you don't want to bend any pins in there. All right, and let's go ahead now and get the battery screws back, and then power it up and see if we have any luck. Okay. Get back in there. There we go. Am I using the wrong size screwdriver bit? I am. <laughs> oh, still using the PH0. We only need that for the bottom cover. So for the inside screws, you want to use a PH1 for the best fit um, and lower chance of accidentally stripping the screws. As you saw, the PH0 does work, but you do want to get a screw that fits really well or a screwdriver that fits really well because you don't want it to be loose. And if you try and twist it too hard, you can damage the screw. All right, so let's go ahead and power this on without putting the bottom cover on yet because we want to check if it's even going to turn on. So the computer actually turns itself on. The keyboard lights up on its own once you open the screen. And the caps lock light is still solid. So let's go ahead and hold the power button to shut it off. OK, and let's actually take the RAM stick out. Pops up at an angle. Pull that out. I don't feel any RAM here. So if there is other RAM in the computer, it's going to be mounted somewhere else. Again, the computer's turning itself on. The caps lock light is solid. So I'm pretty sure it's completely dead. Sometimes after disconnecting the battery, um, you want to wait a bit because it might turn off and turn back on and reset, uh, do some resets. So we're going to leave it for a bit just to see if anything changes. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's dead, which really sucks because this looks like a nice, somewhat expensive laptop. And I don't know what's going on. I don't see anything in here that would cause it to die like that. So maybe I'll see. I'll have to see if they have a warranty or something on it. I should check actually on the website. If it's in warranty, then maybe they can bring it in. But yeah, as you can see, nothing's happening. So it looks like it's dead. Um, we're going to turn off, put the RAM back in. And I guess that's pretty much it. All right. Yeah, this was more just to show what's inside. You can add a second SSD, um, or you can even upgrade the SSD to a larger one. But uh, other than that, yeah, let's go ahead and get the bottom cover back on. And that's pretty much all there is to this. So I'll get this back on. Okay, just get everything, push the edges down to click it in. Um, we're gonna have to switch back to the PH0 or JAS0. I like to twist this backwards to hear it click, make sure it's lined up, and then twist it down. Okay, good. Same thing here. Go, and then twist that. While you're pushing the, or while you're screwing it in, you can push the clips down as you saw. 
Okay, everything else seems good. Now we just get all these screws back in and that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, if you can't help out that way, again, it would help a lot if you can watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Right, last two screws. Okay, and we're good to go. All right, thanks for watching. Let's drop this. Bye.